Today, we're diving into a critical topic, which extinguisher to use for which type of fire. We will break down the different categories of fire, give some examples of what could be on fire in each of these categories, and provide fire extinguisher options for each of these fires. It's very important to get this right. Getting it wrong could put you and others in further danger. Let's get started. First up, flammable solids, also known as Class A fires. This classification of fire uses material as the fuel for the fire. Materials such as plastic, paper, or even textiles, plus many more. This type of fire can spread quickly if there's enough combustible material, heat, and oxygen to sustain the fire. Nevertheless, the appropriate fire extinguishers to put out the fire before it gets too big include water, dry powder, wet chemical, foam, the fire safety stick, and many more. Next is flammable liquids, also known as Class B fires. This classification of fire uses liquids such as petrol, diesel, oil, paint, ethanol, and more as its fuel. Flammable liquids typically have a low flash point and are set alight easily when introduced to an open flame or ignition point. The options to tackle Class B fires include CO2, dry powder, foam, and the fire safety stick. Next is flammable gases, also known as Class C fires. These fires are fueled by gases such as propane, butane, methane, and more. These type of fires are very dangerous and pose a significant threat of explosion. The storage of such gases should be placed appropriately and away from any open flame. Your options for such a fire include dry powder and fire safety stick extinguishers. Next on the list is combustible metals, also known as Class D fires. The fuel source used for this classification of fire can include magnesium, aluminium, lithium, titanium, and more. Although an uncommon fire, they require very high temperatures to ignite, and due to this are exceptionally dangerous and require specialist extinguishers. Extinguisher options include L2 or M28 specialist dry powder extinguishers, not to be confused with your everyday normal dry powder extinguishers. Next are electrical fires, and although not defined by a classification, they are still given their own category. Fires starting from electrical equipment such as TVs, computers, hair dryers, extension leads, and much more. We did not mention lithium batteries for a good reason. This is because although lithium batteries do provide an electrical output, do not confuse them with this class of fire. They can be included in multiple classes of fire all at once, and due to this should be treated with extreme caution. Electrical fires can be very common, with risks of this fire happening in most areas. If you do come across an electrical fire, you should make sure the power supply has been disconnected as there is a risk of electrocution. Suggested extinguishers for electrical fires include CO2, dry powder, and the fire safety stick. Finally, it's cooking oils and fats, also known as Class F fires. These are fires consisting of fats, cooking oils, grease, and more. Typically, these start when cooking is left unattended or without careful monitoring. Usually, a fire blanket is best for pan fires, but wet chemical or the fire safety stick extinguishers are also suggested. Now, you may have noticed something for all of the fire classes. The fire safety stick was mentioned for all but one. That's because it's a fire extinguisher that removes most of the doubt and stops you from asking, what if I've picked up the wrong one? The last thing you need is further doubt. Other reasons you may want the fire safety stick include a 15 year shelf life, it leaves no corrosive mess or residue, discharges for a minimum 50 seconds, far longer than many of the extinguishers we mentioned earlier. It's safe to breathe in, even for pets and animals. Service free, no need to get it professionally looked at on an annual basis. There's no chance of it accidentally setting off and it is both recyclable and eco-friendly. A complete breadth of benefits when you might need to stop an early stage fire. You can find a link to over 300 approved distributors who stock the fire safety stick in the description of this video. Now, if you found this video helpful in any way, do tell us in the comments section. 
And if you want more fire safety related content, please subscribe. Until the next one, stay safe.